Do you need a UV disinfection system to make sure the well or lake water at your home cottage or cabin is safe and bacteria free for your family? Not sure where to start? Looking for some advice from the pros? Relax, we've got you covered and it starts right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. Today, Anna's joining me from our customer service team, and she's gonna help me explain to you what you should be looking for in an ultraviolet disinfection system for your family. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what to look for, how to get the correct size, and where to find it. And you'll definitely know what to avoid. So I'm here with Anna today. Welcome, Anna. Thank you. And Anna's with our customer service department, and she helps a lot of you folks that email in with your specific questions about what do I need to fix my water. So I thought she's the perfect person to be involved today with this buyer's guide and she's going to share with you her wisdom on uh, some of the things to look for when you're shopping for water filtration for your family. Moving on to well water, specifically well water and or lake water and we want to make sure that water is safe and bacteria free for your family and Anna how do we do that? First we need to test it to right. see what is it exactly that needs to be removed from the water and then once we determine that we can determine if it can be a chemical free solution which is what we offer. Ideally. Here. Yeah. The chemical free solutions are great because they don't change the characteristic of the water. They don't, they're not adding any chemicals to the water. So that's what we prefer. To. Plus those chemicals have to go somewhere. Yes, exactly. And as Gary says, you want to buy a filter. You don't want to be a filter. So there are many different options to make your lake and or well water safe to drink and to make it bacteria free. What types of UV systems are out there? So there are different number of stages of UV systems. So you can get a two stage, you can get a three stage, you can also add a pre-filter plus a three stage UV. So basically a three stage UV is the most common. Yeah, and that's this one back here. Sorry, it's a little bit hard for you to see but it has a sediment filter, a carbon filter, and the ultraviolet yeah. light all in one unit. And it all comes put together. So basically you put a line in and a line out. Yeah, comes on a mounting bracket already and everything, It's they're great. And what about if you're just worried about your drinking water? You're not worried about the water in the whole house? You can do a reverse osmosis system with a UV light. Right, you can get a small UV light that you would just add onto the yeah. top. Frequently asked questions, what do people ask us about UV? How does it work? Where should it be installed? How is it installed? And can I do the maintenance myself, changing the filters, changing the UV light. Those are the main questions and Gary has great videos showing how to install it, how they work, and also how to do the changing of the filters and UV light. And by the way, if you don't know how an ultraviolet disinfection system works to kill the bacteria in your family's water, I've got a great YouTube video that explains the whole thing. I'll put a link in the description down below. That's a great thing about our systems is that they're pretty easy to do maintenance on yourself, which we encourage. That has to do with the plumbing. Right, so the flow rate, right? Yes. They're sized by flow rate. Often when you see big box stores have them on sale, they have these little wee five five gallon per minute ones and things like that. Well, if, if your home has two or three bathrooms, you're gonna be putting through water much quicker than five gallons per minute. So you'll be putting through water quicker than it can kill the bacteria. So it's not gonna help you at all. So that's important to know the flow rate that you have, or at least to give us some information so that we can kind of approximate the yes. flow rate and find out do you need a five or an eight or a 15, you know, depending on your situation. So when folks are thinking about an ultraviolet disinfection system, what should they be looking for? One thing that I wanted to mention is it is important if you are considering getting a UV system because you know that there's bacteria in your well water or you're drawing from a lake and you either know there's bacteria or you want to just avoid it altogether, you want to get a UV system, test the water for other things to make sure that that UV system is going to work properly. For example, if you're drawing from a lake and there are tannins in the water, there's a lot of color in the water, then that will compromise the effectiveness of the UV system. If you're drawing from a lake and you have either high iron or really high hardness, that too will compromise how effective that UV system will be. So we never want you to invest invest in something that is actually not going to work to its full potential for you. So we encourage you to, to ask us the questions and to you know send us your water, we'll test it so that we can make the best recommendation possible to make sure that what you're purchasing is actually going to work to fix the problem. So if you have tannins or you have iron, does that mean you can't have a UV? You absolutely can. 
We just need to treat those other things yeah, first. To, to fix the rest of your water yeah. first. Now you're ready to choose a UV system, preferably get something that is made in North America and avoid the Asian brands because they tend to just not last as long and it can be very difficult to get uh, replacement and maintenance parts for them. Non-proprietary, again, there's going to be replacement parts like UV lamps and sediment carbon filters, so you want to make sure that those are readily available. So we do also sell those in bundles for the systems that we sell. And when shopping for an ultraviolet disinfection system for your family, I definitely suggest you check out our Hume Safe Water Tent. And ownership tips? So you want to make sure that you replace the filters. Typically filters are replaced once a year, so you replace them at the same time that you replace the UV lamp because the UV lamp needs to be replaced once a year or every 365 days to be exact. It starts beeping actually a couple of weeks before the 365 days are up, so it gives you time to say, hey, you got to email Water eStore and tell them you need a new lamp. <laughs> That's right. In some situations, you might need to replace the filters more frequently than once a year. If, for example, you have a higher sediment, higher dirt and debris content. Yeah, when you do the installation, something you have to keep bear in mind too is, for example, our Safe Water 10, which is our most popular UV system. Well, the lamp needs to get changed out of the top. Yes. So if you install it let's say underneath a cottage or something like that or underneath a beam and ah, you put yes. it too close to the floor now you can't get that out so you have to kind of keep that in mind yes. Right. when you're installing it to, to allow for that. And again, we talk about that in our videos. One good thing about ours is that they're reversible. So you can, you can either install them with the UV cylinder to the right or to the left. And if you do have a short space, then there are options, UV system options that have the lamp horizontally. So if you have width, but you don't have height to work with, then there are options, other configurations available as well. Yeah, and we can help you with that yeah. selection process. And by the way, these are super easy to install. I've got a great YouTube video that explains the whole process. You can even do it without soldering. I'll put a link in the description down below. A very important tip is to disinfect your plumbing when you install your UV system for the first time. So you want to make sure that you disinfect all of your household plumbing, because if you did have bacteria, then that that bacteria has traveled into your plumbing and is living in there. So you want to make sure that you disinfect that. Usually we just use bleach yep. um, mixed with water and you just run that through the pipes, through all your appliances, disinfects everything. Then you put the filters in and away you go. So we've got a review here from Miguel. He says, good product and works perfectly. Really good, good product, easy to install. Man, a few words, but I like what you're saying there, Miguel. And if you're looking for more information about ultraviolet disinfection systems, including the Hume Safe Water 10, you can go to our websites, either watereastore.com in the US or watereastore.ca in Canada. We offer free shipping and discount pricing. Click here for your next video on ultraviolet disinfection systems, and I'll see you there. Any questions or comments, add them down below.